hi in this video I'm going to talk about LDL and why LDL is called bad cholesterol what are the effects if LDL level in the blood is high we would see all these concepts in this video so before knowing LDL we should consider two other type of lipoprotein in our body LDL stands for low density lipoprotein so the protein part in this part like lipoprotein is pretty low so let's see and analyze what are other lipoproteins from which LDL is actually derived so here is our liver and liver secretes one type of particle called VLDL and VLDL stands for very low density lipoprotein VLDL have ApoB100 lipoprotein it has ApoE and ApoC2 and this VLDL is now circulating in the blood all around the body and let's say the VLDL reaches a adipose tissue and in the adipose tissue there so here I represent the adipose tissue so here in the adipose tissue LDL uh, VLDL actually uh, encounters lipoprotein lipase now when our VLDL particle containing B100 ApoE and ApoC2 encounters this LPL that means lipoprotein lipase and C2 actually helps it to dock to this uh, LPL and now the triglyceride inside the uh, VLDL would be converted into the triglyceride that is inside the VLDL triglyceride would be converted into free fatty acid and free fatty acid would be stored in the adipose tissue so the particle we would get now it has a lot of cholesterol and it is called intermediate density lipoprotein IDL it still have the ApoB100 tag it have ApoE but don't have ApoC2 cause during the tracking uh, into the adipose tissue that tag is lost that lipoprotein is lost now this L IDL could get back into the circulation so here I am representing IDL it has B100 it has E so now IDL would again flow in capillaries and it would go circulate all around the body IDL could be converted into another particle called the LDL so LDL has ApoB100 and ApoE now what happens to this LDL is LDL could be taken up by the liver so 50% of the LDL is taken up the, by the liver because liver has particular ApoE receptor for this type of LDL particles so 50% is taken up by liver and what happened to the rest 50% the rest 50% this is LDL the rest 50% actually circulates around the body and it actually supply cholesterol to the sources where we need cholesterol but when the LDL level is high due to some reason LDL would do bad stuff to our body say for instance this is our LDL so it's in a further place in the artery and in artery LDL could ultimately deposits its cholesterol content and form a plaque a atherogenic plaque so LDL may build atherogenic plaque
so this is the bad effect of cholesterol and now we would see how this plaque actually formed so now if we zoom into an area of this particular artery if we zoom into this portion we would find we would have a lot of epithelial endothelial cells of the arterial lining we have a lot of them we have a lot of endothelial cells and here it would be the lumen here would be the lumen and beneath that we would get a sub endothelial space after the sub endothelial space in the sub endothelial space we have smooth muscular layer so these are smooth muscle cells so these are smooth muscle cells and now what happens and here is the lumen so we can see RBCs over here and in case of when a uh, body has a lot of LDL here the LDL level in blood is very high so there are a lot of circulatory LDL now what happens this LDL could get inside to the sub endothelial space and by some mechanism this LDL would actually be converted into its oxidized form this form is known as oxidized LDL in the meantime we have a lot of monocytes circulating around the blood vessels and lumen so this oxidized LDL would actually help these endothelial cells to express adhesion molecules here you can see due to these oxidized LDL these endothelial cells can produce these adhesion molecules now these monocytes would be actually talked into these adhesion molecules and ultimately the monocytes would get inside the tissue and when it's inside the sub endothelial space it would be a macrophage it would be a macrophage a tissue macrophage now macrophage has scavenger receptors and these scavenger receptors can actually uptake these oxidized form of LDL and now it can really take the oxidized form of LDL when macrophage takes a lot of this oxidized LDL macrophage get converted into a specific type of cell known as foam cells these are foam cells and these foam cells are actually the main culprit for building up atherogenic plaque now remember foam cells have a lot of LDL particles inside a lot of cholesterol inside and due to its high cytotoxicity these foam cells would actually get ruptured it would be destroyed and releasing it content into the sub endothelial space in the sub endothelial space a lot of deposition of these LDL would take place and ultimately a plaque would be developed in the mouth of the plaque a lot of RBCs could be attracted forming a thrombus and this is the most extreme case so this is atherogenic plaque actually represented in green this is a plaque this is a plaque and this is this is the thrombus so just reviewing again that we have excess level of LDL circulating LDL so LDL would get inside and LDL would be converted into oxidized LDL if the high um, if the ROS reactive oxygen species is in high amount then LDL could get converted into oxidized LDL this oxidized LDL 
could be taken up by the macrophage and where does the macrophage came into the picture the macrophage actually came into the picture when circulating monocyte get inside the cell due to a lot of adhesion receptors and these tissue macrophage would take these oxidized LDL particle and it would become foam cell and due to the cytotoxicity of foam cell foam cell would rupture releasing its content into the subendothelial space and ultimately the endothelial lining would be broken down a lot of thrombus could form a plaque could build up and this is ul the ultimate result is atherosclerosis uh, which is a terrible disease and if this atherosclerosis happens in the coronary artery it could be fatal even so that is why LDL is called bad cholesterol but the LDL is also required for our body because LDL is the main source of cholesterol LDL could supply cholesterol to the tissues who's, who actually need cholesterol for many purposes like steroid hormone biosynthesis or any other purposes so LDL is good but too much excess of LDL would cause damage to our body and ultimately would lead to atherogenesis and atherosclerosis that is why LDL is also known as bad cholesterol hope you understand the video hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe Thank you.